Hello, my name is Phoenix. I am a freelance web designer and developer at codeandtonic.com, my little freelancing uh, design business. And in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can make any custom designs to a square.online website. So if you make design changes to your website, uh, you're normally kind of restricted to what Square kind of allows you to do, changing uh, these like rough, uh, pr pretty like m big design changes, not getting very specific at all. And with most platforms, there is this kind of custom CSS field. So CSS is the code language which determines what websites look like. So any font, any size, any color, any layout, uh, all this stuff is determined by CSS. But indeed, Square doesn't really have a feed like this. And the first thing you would probably try is to go to the custom uh, header code and try to add a style tag uh, to kind of make styles. But you're probably going to run into this uh, kind of error. So uh, this is what we're gonna create a workaround for. And I'm gonna first demonstrate how this works. So copy this code. Make sure you start here and end here. So copy that. Great. You will go to your settings, tracking tools, and here add custom header code. Click on add new code. This could be something like styles and just paste that in. So this example code is going to make everything green. And we're just going to start with this just to demonstrate how this works. Hit save. Whoops. Something went wrong. Let's try again. Let's just refresh. Probably a bug of some kind. Let's try that again. Okay, good. Uh, now, when you add this, if you go to your website and refresh, you will not see any changes usually uh, you usually need to hit this publish i don't know why that happened it usually does not happen but yeah if you don't see changes make sure to click on publish and then you will see those changes let's make a little change change the green to uh, something like orange just to illustrate hit save I don't think it should be changing. Yeah, it's not, which is like it should be. So first click on publish. And now everything is orange. Okay, let's remove this code for now and add some kind of more practical examples. I'm just gonna remove it here. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, this is obviously a pretty awkward way, you know, having to click all this stuff and then publish and then see your changes. So, what I recommend is to use a plugin like this user CSS Chrome, sorry, not a plugin, a Chrome extension. So, clicking on this one, we're able to uh, write CSS here so we can see in real time uh, what is happening. Oops. <laughs> how is that? <laughs> I like how this looks. Pretty, pretty cool actually. Yeah. Maybe not very user friendly, but I actually like this. This was just supposed to be like a joke. Anyway, uh, 
a few practical examples. Let's say you want to edit the size of these ones. Well, you would find this variable in the CSS and then edit the size to make these bigger or smaller. Uh, maybe you want to add some like fancy underlines. You would do it with a code like this. Or maybe you want to change the color of a sign in button. You would use a code like this to do it. So once you're kind of happy with the CSS uh, and you like the way your website looks, then you will just take everything in here and copy that and then add that code uh, kind of between these two little little things. So let's paste that code here and hit save. And then make sure to publish. And let's open this in an incognito window to kind of make sure. Yeah, something weird going on with this one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We we have to select the order type first to get to see our cool big uh, button thingies or whatever these are called, and our nice little red sign up button. Um, I don't think there are any links on this page. Maybe in this one, yeah, we can see our fancy links. Anyway, uh, this is currently working pretty well in 2022. Not 100% sure how Square feels about this workaround. Uh, I don't think they will have a big problem with it if you're doing minor changes like this, if you're not doing anything like too weird and crazy, and especially if you know what you're doing. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. You will find all kinds of CSS tutorials online. But if you want a pro uh, to hire a pro to kind of make any any changes to any like design uh, anything like this, feel free to hit me up. I work with companies NGOs, big and small. Uh, so don't hesitate to get in touch if you need help. And thanks for watching.